Hipparchos is launched by the European Space Agency's Ariane 4 launcher from Kourou in French Guiana. Run up by Ariane to 10 revolutions per minute, Hipparchos is ejected into a geostationary transfer orbit. It is eventually spun up to 60 revolutions per minute, and then its apogee boost motor is fired, taking the craft to a geostationary altitude. Hipparchos is maneuvered into its allocated station position. Once there, it is de-spun and the solar panels are deployed. The spin axis is orientated towards the sun. It's now ready to begin work. Once operational, how does Hipparchos make a measurement? The light of a star enters through one of two external baffles. This light hits a mirror called the beam combiner, which combines the images of stars seen in the two separate fields of view onto this flat folding mirror. It's then reflected onto a spherical primary mirror. The end result is really a complicated, compact, and highly accurate reflecting telescope. What happens next is what makes Hipparchos unique. The primary mirror focuses the light onto a modulating grid. Let's look in closer detail. The grid measures a mere 2.5 centimeters across, but contains an incredible 2,688 pairs of alternately dark and transparent lines. A star image moves smoothly across the grid as the satellite rotates slowly in the sky. It takes about 20 seconds for the image to cross the entire field of view of the telescope. As it passes behind the succession of transparent and opaque slits of the grid, the light from the star is modulated. In practice, several stars will be visible at any one time on this grid. The light intensity is sampled 1,200 times a second, and the detector jumps rapidly from one star to another, lingering a little longer on the fainter objects. The detector samples these 